Hello, I'm going to show you how you can see all of the astrology charts of eclipses in a Saros cycle. So first, let's, con let's clarify what the Saros cycle is. Here I've got a map. Um, I'm in the Sirius 2.0 software, and these are the eclipse maps. And, and I've, I have here the path of the eclipse on August 21st, 2017. I'm making this video on August 19th. So two days from now, there's going to be the so-called Great American Eclipse. And here's the path from northwest part of the United States down to the southeast on August 21st, 2017. Now, what's interesting is if you go back in time, almost exactly 18 years, 11 days, and 8 hours, there was an eclipse. Is that amazing or what? I mean, it's a very regular event, almost exactly 18 years, 11 days and 8 hours. And here is the path of the previous one. So that would have been uh, August 11th, 1990 is this path. So that's the path of an eclipse that occurred 18 years, 11 days, and 8 hours earlier. And here's the one 18 years before that. And, and it goes across here and then continues over here. So, and that was on July 31st, 1981. So it's quite fascinating um, that there's this very regular pattern. And then if we go back another 18 years, 11 days, and 8 hours, we'll see yet another one. And gradually these eclipse paths will either move south or move north through the globe and they will disappear. Um, so they have a lifespan and they begin and they end. This is the lifespan of the Saro cycle. Now, going back to my PowerPoint slide here. So that's what the Saro cycle is. It makes this fascinating, beautiful pattern of eclipse paths on the Earth, and some astrologers believe that the previous eclipses in a Saros cycle tell a story that leads up to the current one. So that's a cool idea. It's as if the Saros cycle is like a living being, you know, or we don't have to get call it living, but it's, it's an integrated cycle. So each eclipse is another step in that cycle. It doesn't exist as an isolated event. And so we want to look at the previous eclipses, maybe the previous two or three or four eclipses in the Saro cycle to see what they look like to get the full story leading up to this one. That's one idea. And another idea is to go back to the first one, because the very first eclipse in the Saro cycle would be the birth of the whole cycle. So some astrologers want to go back and look at the previous eclipses um, in the Saro cycle. So you can subtract the 18 uh, years and 11 days, you know, slightly over 18 years, and, and pull that up. Um, but we have a feature to make it easier, and I just added this feature um, yesterday. So I just, I just added this feature. Uh, someone asked for to, to be able to see what the Saro cycle is in the chart wheel. And after I did that, I realized... Oh my gosh, this makes it very easy to see all the charts in the Saro cycle. So let me show you how that's done um, in the Sirius software. And even if you don't have the software, it'll help confirm exactly how this, how these Saro cycle charts uh, work. Okay, so here I am. I'm in the Sirius 2 software. I added this feature to Sirius 2 and Kepler 8. And if you have the software, we have a free update that you can get to download. If you don't have that update link, email us at the usual email address and we'll send you that link. Remember to include your name and, and address and stuff so we know that you're the actual user. Okay, and so what do I do? How would I create? First, I want to see the eclipse for August 21st, 2017. Suppose that's the one I'm interested in. So I'm going to go to new and I'm just going to clear all our entries and start a new list. I've got an actor up here, Ben Affleck. I suppose I don't care about him anymore. So let's start a new list. And then I will click on Lunations and Eclipses. And I want Lunations and Eclipses. I don't want prenatal lunation. 
and I'm going to select solar eclipses only. I'm going to select to the day I want or some day close to it. So I happen to know the eclipse is on August 21st, 2017. So I put that date in there and I want just one eclipse. And by the way, there's a calculation method. If I click that button, we'll usually use the astrological method. I have a video um, explaining the difference between astrological and astronomical. Um, so I have a separate video on that. But typically, astrologers want the astrological method. So first, I'm just going to do an eclipse um, for the date I want. And if you don't know the date, it'll just find the eclipse that's closest to the date you enter. And we'll do it for New York City, New York. Okay, so first I just do the eclipse. Now here's the new feature I just added, is that it tells me that it's Saros Cycle 145. That's the name of the Saros Cycle. Number 22 means it's the 22nd eclipse in the cycle. So now I can get all 22 previous eclipses. So first you just pull up the eclipse, then you see how many there are with this new feature that tells you, and you just ask for the previous 22, and you've got it. Is that cool or what? You can now get these very quickly. The problem we had before is we didn't know what number, the, was it the 7th eclipse, the 15th, the 30th? You didn't know how many to go back to get. So now I'll clear all entries again. Uh, I'll click on lunations and eclipses again. I'll leave my date. I want solar eclipses only. Everything's fine, except I'm going to say 22 eclipses. And then here's the cool feature. This feature was here before. I didn't add this today. Um, is to get the preceding eclipses. Solar eclipses only or lunar with more than one eclipse. Select eclipses in Saro cycle. Just by selecting this, it'll go back and instead of getting the previous eclipse, it'll get the previous eclipse in the Saro cycle. Very, very awesome. So now I've done it. I want the 22 previous eclipses in the Saro cycle. And now we know that there are 22 because we looked at the chart, the chart wheel for the eclipse and it told me. So I'll click OK. It set up the 22. I click Done. And it's calculating them. And there it is. I now have them all. The very first eclipse um, in the Sarah cycle, 145, was on January 2nd, 1639. There's the eclipse chart at 13 Capricorn 49. Um, if I go, this is in, this is showing me the current eclipse, August 21st, and going backwards in time. So if I go to the next one, uh, was in 1657. And there it is, and so on. So I've got, and it tells me it's number two. So I've got them all. Let's look at it this way. Here's the August 21st, 2017. As we already saw this chart, it's the Saro Cycle 145, 145, 22nd eclipse at 28 Leo 53 is where the eclipse occurs. Now let's look at the next one. It should be 18 years earlier, about August 11th, 1999. And we look at it, and it's August 11, 1999. And it tells me it's the 21st eclipse. I'll go to the previous one, which would be 20, and it will be 20 year, uh, 18 years earlier. What is that, 1981, about August 1st, 1981. And I click on that, July 30th, 81. Yeah, it was very close in my in my you know manual calculation and it's the 20th in the cycle so there they are if i just keep going through there's 20 19 18 17 it's telling me right there so the new feature we added was just to show the saro cycle number and what number it is in the sequence and then using that feature in the data entry screen to get the previous um previous uh, eclipses in the saro cycle now we know how many to enter We've got them all. So there it is, my friends. I uh, just wanted to show you that the ability to get the previous eclipse charts in the Saro cycle. Some people are especially interested in that first one. Um, so you've got that first one there. Maybe you're not interested in all these others, but, but they're just there. Um, and you've got some people are interested in the very previous ones. 
uh, leading up to the current one. Some people are interested in all of them. So anyway, th that's how you do it. Uh, just another nice little feature for working with eclipses. Everybody's talking about eclipses now because um, I live in the United States. In two days, the this eclipse happens, the first eclipse that goes across the entire United States in a very, very long time. So everybody's got eclipse fever, and um, they're asking for features and so on. And this is one of the things we just did um, uh, just two days before the, the eclipse on the 21st. Okay, my friends, thank you very much for listening. God bless. Namaste.